Good evening. So the time is drawing nigh for the concert. So if, if you can all begin finding your seats, we'll get started here in five minutes. So this is your five minute warning. Good evening. So there's been a change in plans. Mark Graham is not able. So the lead, the lead vocalist will be John Miller, accompanied on the piano by Robin Weber. All right. We have to have a little bit of fun sometimes. So. We're, that, that was a little bit much. That, yep. It was fun for me to hear the groans. <laughs> okay, we're very privileged to have been this feast to have Mark Graham with us. Uh, we've entitled this the Piano Tuner's Music Box. Um, he will be bringing... Um, a concert entirely consisting of his own compositions. So I'm sure he can maybe add a little bit of information on why he wrote these songs and what their meanings are. What you may not know about uh, Mark Graham, in these parts he 
everybody knows him in the church for the music and the hymns he has composed, but for 25 years, Mark tuned, was responsible to tune Walsh uh, University's um, 108 pianos. So there he was known as the piano tuner. You can also go online. Uh, Mark uh, set the entire Psalms of Ascents to choral music. And that was per um, performed by the university choir a couple of, what was that, two or three years ago? 2018. Uh, if you like that kind of music, it is um, truly a, an amazing composition. So Mark has inspired both young and old for decades with his gift of bringing words of scripture alive with music. His unique perspective often adds a missing dimension that enriches your understanding of the Bible. His hymns are used weekly in churches across the world and have been translated into many languages. We're pleased to have Mark here with us tonight. Give him a warm Walnut Creek welcome. I'm all alone Whenever I think I'm the only one I wake myself, make myself Think of all that you have done In this dying age, the whole world o'er I have brothers on every land and shore You've opened my eyes Now I realize That all over the world People are thanking you tonight All over the world The children of truth and light Are living all over the world People are learning how to be One great family All over the world Burma to Bombay to Nairobi When the stars shine on them, sun shines on me From Singapore to England's shore They are learning to be free Somewhere on earth every hour of day Someone is sending a prayer your way So simple and yet Sometimes I forget That all over People are thanking you tonight All over the world The children of truth and light Are living all over the world People are learning how to be One great family All over the world Father in Holland and Finland and Thailand Everywhere that your work is done Bind us all with the spirit of love That makes us one And Father, bless us and keep us and guide us Till the day your kingdom comes Help us work hand in hand In every land Till all over the world People are thanking you tonight All over the world The children of truth and light Will teach them all over the world People will finally learn to be One great family All over the world, all over the world All over the world All over the world all over the world. Uh, 
rowdy crowd. Um, we, Tay and I moved to Ohio in 1978. We, um, we're part of the Cleveland West congregation back in the days when we were big enough to have a West and an East congregation, and they, uh, they became our family very quickly. And um, one time they had a 50s dance, and they needed entertainment, and I sang backup for a good singer. And um, so I got to do the ba 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 parts and things. Um, and afterwards, uh, our pastor came up and he said, hey, I've just put you on the special music schedule. And I said, I shall be happy to play piano. And he said, really? Because you're singing on the schedule. And um, back in those days, I did what ministers told me to do. And, uh, <laughs> um, but those of you who sing know how hard it is to come up with music for our people and that fits God's plan and God's way of life. Sometimes the more popular music in, in, um, from other faiths just doesn't cut it. And so I started writing songs um, that were both in my vocal range but also that fit our beliefs. And um, that's what you'll be hearing tonight is songs that, that were written for special music. Um, this one is called, One Thing I'd Want Them to Know. Some children in this world have to cry themselves to sleep. Some children live in fear, some never have enough to eat. Some children live in bodies that will never be quite right. And there's nothing I can do but wish with all my might. I just want to hold them, put my arms around them, Tell them that there's only so much time to go. Soon the king will be here. Things will all be better. It's one thing I'd want them to know. Some people in this world have lost more than they've won. Some have lost their fortunes, some have lost their sons, and some of them have lost so much they've nowhere left to fall. And though they may not listen, I want to tell them all. I just want to hold them, put my arms around them, tell them that there's only so much time to go. Soon the king will be here, things will all be better. It's one thing I'd want them to know. And I know when he returns, there will be so much that's right. The earth will be a garden, the world will all be light. But even more I'm living for the chance to be there when we teach the broken people and give them hope again. I just want to hold them, put my arms around them, tell them that their sorrow finally now is through. The king is on his throne now, things will all be better. It's one thing that I'd like to do. I just want to hold them, put my arms around them, tell them that there's only so much time to go. Soon the king will be here, 
things will all be better it's one thing I'd want them to know In the morning of time, many ages ago, the good Lord planted a garden where he caused everything to grow. He made him a man, he made him a wife, and he made them the keepers of everything that had life. Then he blessed them and said, you've just started and yet, you can grow like the beasts and the birds Grow in the light of my words Grow till you're all you can be Grow till you're just like me Though the garden is gone God has called us today Turn from all of your madness and follow in my own way. Think whatever is good, do whatever is pure, whatsoever is lovely, whatever is true and sure. And all of your days, I will be with you always. Now grow like a tree to the light grow while the day is still bright grow till you're all you can be grow till you're just like me though the garden is gone there's a song to be sung now the message must ring out as a warning to everyone For the king will return, he will gather his own Everyone he has chosen, yes, everyone who has grown The kingdom that began from the smallest of seeds Will finally stand like the tallest of trees it will grow without any end joy and peace will grow in the land again the kingdom will grow till it covers the earth grow and grow to the end of the universe and I know this will be so if we only can grow. I have been very proud to be involved with the project, our, our Jelly Songs for the young people. And I'm not sure, I mean, there may be other people here, but. I got personal feast greetings from Jelly this year. It was kind of fun. Uh, it, it's just great. There, it's, a, it's a bunch of wonderful people to work with, and I think we're accomplishing something. Um, I have written a lot of children's choir songs over the years. Um, my children developed their own rating system. They, they did it from least annoying to most annoying songs. And, it seemed like the most annoying songs were the ones that I liked the most. Um, how many of you have ever had to sing the Books of the Bible song? I mean, I, it was written 40 years ago, so there's people in their 40s who were forced to sing it for a while. Uh, one time I was at Baldwin Wallace University where I worked, and they have a fantastic music theater program. 
And I got to play for some of the best voices. They're, in, uh, they're the leads in musicals that you've seen. They're just wonderful. They, they audition 600 voices a year, and they accept 18. And I got to play for a lot of the very best ones. It was absolutely wonderful. It was a great experience. Um, but one day, I, I was playing for a class where they had to sing. And um, I was just getting ready, and they were all in there. And I walked in, and behind me, just like in a horror movie, the door clicked shut. And the music theater students got up, and somebody went to the piano and played. Which, of course, is the books of the Bible song. Well, I had tried to keep that part of my life separate from the work part of my life, and I thought if they ever came together, the universe would tear apart. It didn't happen, thankfully. Um, but... They, they sang the books of the Bible song with full choreography and harmony, and it was absolutely wonderful. And they thought, isn't this a great joke? And they laughed and laughed and laughed, and then we finally got into the class. Meanwhile, I'm sitting there thinking, that's 23 musical theater students who know the books of the Bible now. So, <laughs> so it was a win-win situation. But this is, a, I'm going to do one of the children's songs. This is the song that Jelly sent me today. Um, and it's called Dreaming of the Kingdom. It's about the feast. I'm dreaming of the kingdom, God's great kingdom, all the things in store for you and me. Dreaming of the kingdom, God's great kingdom, here is how I picture it will be. I can wrestle with the wolf, I can ride bears around, I can paddle with a porpoise till the sun goes down. I can dance with the deer, I can swim with the swan, when I'm sleepy there's a lion I can lean up on. Dreaming of the kingdom, God's great kingdom, all the things in store for you and me. Dreaming of the kingdom, God's great kingdom, here is how I picture it will be. I can meet famous men out of his story. I can hear Noah tell of life out on the sea. I can help Peter fish. I can hear David sing. I can learn from Jesus Christ out just how to be a king. Dreaming of the kingdom, God's great kingdom. All the things in store for you and me. Dreaming of the kingdom, God's great kingdom. Here is how I picture it will be. And the greatest of all the things there will be Is people will finally live in harmony No more sickness or war, mm, things in store And that's the way that life will be forevermore Dreaming of the kingdom, God's great kingdom All the things in store for me and my friends Dreaming of the kingdom, God's great kingdom Happiness that never ends Happiness that never, ever ends. This is a song that I hope encapsulates God's plan for people and how he can take people and turn them into his children. It starts out with the words, People are twisted, people are strange. So, we were at the grocery store with my three-year-old daughter, and in the aisle she starts singing at the top of her voice, People are twisted, people are strange. <laughs> I don't know that that was good community relations, but here's the rest of the song. People are twisted, people are strange. People are wicked, people hardly ever change. People must be the worst thing you have made. Why don't you wipe them out and then just start again? Can't you see people are heartless? People are wrong. I really don't see how you stood them for so long. Father, there's one thing I would like to know. Why you love people so. The earth is a treasure. 
the earth is a jewel. Why would you hand it over to these mortal fools who ruin and plunder everything you've made? There must be more to humanity than I can see. And that is your secret, as strange as it seems. People are at the heart of all your hopes and dreams. You can make people into something new. They can become like you. I would have given up long ago. And I know when people are growing and living your way. I wouldn't want to live without them. For one day, people must be the finest thing you've made. Who would have thought that God could be a family? So hasten the day now when this will come true. Send us your kingdom here on earth until you do. Teach me to love people till I've understood. People are something good. When I worked at the university, uh, we had a director of the university, and there was a guardian lion at his door, outside his door. Actually, she was a secretary named June, and she, w she was a secretary. Back then, we had secretaries, and June, June was a very unusual person. I suppose there are lots of people in the world who own as much makeup as June did, but she wore it all at the same time. And... Um, I was afraid of June for a while, but then I found out that through a friend of hers, she actually liked my music. And it turned out that she was actually instrumental in me being hired there full time. And she was a sweetheart. She really was. But June got sick, and June died. And we were all, I was very sad. Um, and one day I was called into the director's office, and he said, we're doing a memorial service for June. I said, good. And he said, She's asked that you sing at the memorial service. And I said, oh? He said, the voice faculty is a little confused by this uh, because, <laughs> because I was the piano tuner, you know, and they had all these wonderful singers there, great operatic singers, but June's family was very clear that June wanted me to sing at her memorial service. So, I, so, so there I was. June was a Christian scientist, sort of, uh, she was pretty free in the things that she believed. Her family was Lutheran. It was a Methodist school. Um, my, there were, I had a number of Jewish friends and Islamic friends there. And so I set out to write a generic memorial service song. <laughs> and it went over fairly well. Um, I found out later, and it, it meant quite a bit to me, that... Um, my parents, I w came into the church on my own. My parents were staunch Presbyterians till the day that they died. But um, they were very careful, organized people. And when my mother passed away, my father called me, kind of similar to the director of the conservatory, and he said, your mother has requested this song at her memorial service. And it was, hmm. It was like my mother giving me a present. I didn't know she'd ever heard the song. I think somebody had sent it to her or something like that. 
So um, it was kind of a gift from after she died to me to be able to sing this at my mother's funeral, generic funeral song called There Is More. At the end of a storm is a brightening sky at the end of the winter the warm breezes blow at the end of the dark comes the dawn's golden light at the end of a life well does anyone know and when someone was gentle and giving and kind it can make us all wonder just what is life for oh where do we come from and where are we bound and all i can say is i know there is more there is more the ending is only a start there is more than we see death is only a door there is more i know this with all of my heart there is more there is more there is more Some will say that God calls all his children back home. Some say they become part of a much greater whole. Some say they'll awake in a new age to come. And some say there's no way to know. As for me, I say there is a purpose that works here below. And there is a promise of good things in store. And there is a hope in the spring of the year. So whatever the answer, I know there is more, there is more. The ending is only a start. There is more than we see. Death is only a door. There is more. I know this with all of my heart. There is more than we know. I know this is so. There is more. There is more, there is more. I was honored after that song um, was circulated at Baldwin Wallace that it was adopted by the Cleveland um, music therapists in hospice work to sing to their patients, which uh, is um, This next song I wrote for special music, but I have never performed it at services. I played it for a very good friend of mine who's also a good musician, and he said, that's the weirdest song I've ever heard. And um, um, it's, um, it's a little different, uh, but as weird as it is, I can back up everything in this song with scripture. This is all straight from the scripture. And uh, it, it, I like to write songs uh, when it comes to biblical character, characters about people who are at a crossroads, people who are, whose lives they have the opportunity to change and they have to make a choice or, or something has been done for them and it's, a, it's a, something that they have to think about. And this song is written from the point of the view of the man, uh, the Gadarene man who was possessed by many, many demons and Jesus Christ cast them out and they went into the pigs, you know the story, um, but there's a lot of details in the story, and the story is told three times in the Gospels. And, and my favorite part, and the part that touched me, and the reason I started thinking about it was, 
the man was sitting fully clothed and in his right mind at, at Jesus' feet and just, you know, looking up at him and, and very grateful for what had been done. But, um, of course, Jesus did not take the man with him. He told him to stay there and tell people what had been done for him. But, but I picture, I wonder if you've ever thought about it, I picture this man as possibly becoming part of the New Testament church. Maybe his name is even in one of the letters or something like that. You know, we, we dismiss him there in, uh, in that part of the world, and he went back to his people. But for someone that something like that happened to, I think there had to be more to the story. So this is called Keep an Eye on That Man. Gather round people and I'll tell you a tale Of a life that has finally gone right Come mothers and fathers, bring your sons and your daughters Oh, you've never ever seen such a sight I'm the one you used to go out to the graveyard to see You all know me, don't pretend that you don't There were so many demons that it really seemed I would never be free of that load But look at me Yes, it's the same man, I am free, back in control, can't you see, no one else could do the things he can, I'm finally, I'm finally healed and whole, and I tell you, keep an eye on that man. As a real brawler, I just do not recall I only know the things that I have heard But when you could not control me a chains could not hold me One man set me free with just one word You think I should be embarrassed to talk this way Well, I tell you, I have no such fears But then you must understand You're dealing with a man Who went naked as a baby for years Now look at me Back with my clothes on, I am free, and I'm not going back. Can't you see? Only one man can do the things he can. Take it from your former local maniac. You do well to keep an eye on that man. take me along but he said no and I could see the boat was not that big but I still can't believe you'd really ask him to leave you must still be mad about the pigs he said go back to your friends you tell them time and again all the great ways God has done you good and in my own wretched way I suppose I can say things in ways to you that he never could now look at me Standing before you, I am free. What about you? I can see no one will make you understand. But even those demons knew he'll do great things before he's through. In the name of God, I'm telling you, you really ought to keep an eye on that man. You really ought to keep an eye on that. Man. <laughs> this is a brand new song. No one's ever heard it before. Not even my wife, I don't think. Um, I miss my dog. I mean, I love Amish country, but uh, my dog's alive. Uh, he's a, <laughs> a black lab mix, a little guy named Charlie. Um, we got him, um, it's a complicated story. I had a parrot, the parrot died. Uh, on Facebook you would say the relationship was complicated. I'm not sure we actually liked each other, but we enjoyed each other's company. So I went to church and Walt came up to me and Walt said, I know how much you miss your parrot and I'm gonna bring you a new one next week. And I said, Walt, I'm fine. I'm good. I don't ever need another parrot. I'm really good. And besides, in a week, in a year, when I retire, I'm going to get a dog. So the next week, Walt showed up at services with a dog. And, <laughs> and he says, I said no eight or nine times. And um, it was a long sermon that day. 
And I had a lot of opportunity to think about this dog, and he was a nice dog. And, you know, that's the part you just don't know. He was a very fine dog. And Taya could see the wheels turning, and she said, whatever you want. It's a so at the end, I went up to Walt, and I said, okay, we'll take the dog. So Walt opens his van, and he brings out the crate and the harness and the leash and the food bowls. He was not going home with this dog, clearly. So... <laughs> So Charlie's our church dog. He met everybody, and he, know, he knows everybody at church. He's a good, good dog. Um, so I called my brother, and I said, I just came home from church, and I ha brought a dog home with me. And he said, see, that's why I don't go to church. Uh, <laughs> um, but this is a song that Charlie and I wrote together on our walks. My dog and I, we go out for walks. I think he likes it, but he never talks. Our town has neighborhoods, I bet yours does too. And it's nice that folks still fly the red, white, and blue. Oh, but people have more things that they want to say. And they say it with flags that are changed in some way. And I'm all for free speech, but I see in my heart flags can bring us together or keep us apart. I wish we had one flag. I really do. I wish we had one flag. The red, white, and blue. Now we all have our differences But we're so much the same I wish we had one flag One flag, one flag To bring us together again When I was a boy our choices were few. Flags had red and white stripes and white stars on blue. There actually was one thing to debate. You could fly the new 50 stars or the old 48. But in a parade, when old glory went by, Dad made us all stand up, my brothers and I. Together with neighbors and strangers and friends And I wish that that feeling could come back again I wish we had one flag I wish it were true I wish we had one flag The red, white, and blue I know we have differences But we're so much the same I wish we had one flag One flag, one flag To bring us together again This third verse I would like to dedicate to Autumn and Frank Dillingham From Cleveland, Ohio, you'll know why we see flags with black stripes and red stripes and blue. We see flags with pine trees and rainbow stripes too. We see flags from old wars and flags with men's names. We see flags that say, go back where you came. We see flags for Ukraine, which I understand. It's good that we think of that war troubled land. And there's flags for lost causes like the ones in our town. They fly mostly on Sundays and say, go Cleveland Browns. I wish we had one flag. I wish through and through. I wish we had one flag, the red
red, white, and blue. We all have our differences, but we're so much the same. I wish we had one flag, one flag, one flag to keep us together again. Oh, say, can you see? I wish we had one flag for you and for me. Charlie put in the part about the Browns. One day, my daughter, very young, and my wife came to me and said, we need a song about Noah. So this is a song about Noah. And um, he's standing on the top of the ark, talking to a dove. And it's called, To the Dove. <laughs> Is my dove tonight? Look at those stars above. This is the time I love. I brought you up here to see how high on the mountain's brow this ark is come to rest. I, our journey has been blessed. I almost can forget. The cries as the drowning died, waters that burst below, the ark tossing to and fro, those waters have all gone by. This ark is peaceful now, Shem snoring loud and clear. I can hear him from here. Oh, look at the whales below. Lion is roaring loud, cricket is cheering low. Love a sound I know, God's creatures all safe inside. And when he will give the word, they will go leaping forth, joyfully fill the earth with feather and fang and fur. Blessed be the name of God, he has brought this ark through. Now there's a job for you, in that way we're much the same. For I have a world to build, peopled with my own kin. Better than it has been, though I know the heart of man. And far down the wings of time, farther than you can fly, terror will fill the sky, destruction will fill the destruction will fill the deep, and God will his people keep when days grow deathly dark. They'll think about this old ark. But why am I telling you? I'm talking to a bird. I must be getting old. Still, when the tale is told, they'll speak of both you and me. So rest for your coming flight. Tomorrow I set you free. Who knows what you will see? Bring something back for me. And now my dove, good night.
I don't know if any of you knew a family in uh, the Meadville and the Cleveland Church. It was quite, quite a long time ago. Their name was Larry and Bernice Cornelius. And when we moved here, um, we had some difficulties um, in our life after we moved here. And um, the church family took us in and were very warm to us. And Mr. and Mrs. Cornelius, I never called them Larry and Bernice, Mr. and Mrs. Cornelius were very kind to us. They were grandparents to us and like great grandparents to our children. And we would pick them up and take them to services. But it wasn't a burden. I mean, it was like picking up family members. And sometimes we went to the feast together. Well, the Cornelius has had their 60th anniversary. And um, the church had a party. It was very nice. And I was maybe 30. And I was kind of emceeing the whole thing. And I stuck a microphone in Mr. Cornelius' face. And I said, what's the secret of living 60 years? And he gave me this scornful look and said, well, Mark, first you have to live that long. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> but this is a song that I wrote for their 60th anniversary, and it's called Love Lasts Forever. And I wonder if you might sing the chorus with me. It's words that you kind of know. It goes, love lasts forever. Love is faithful and sure. Love lasts forever. True love will endure. Can we try it? Love lasts forever. Love is faithful and sure. Love lasts forever, true love will endure. You'll know when it comes. In a world of confusion, of sorrow and woe, how can a young man know which way to go? And how can a sweetheart know just what is so? No, how can a woman, sorry, know just what is so? What is love supposed to be? Does it come in a moment and fly on the wind? Do you keep finding new loves again and again? Well, the good book has something to say here, my friend, about what love's supposed to be. Guess what? Here it comes. Love lasts forever. Love is faithful and sure. Love lasts forever, true love will endure. Back 60 years on a bright July day, a young Pennsylvanian was making his way to the house where his sweetheart was waiting to say you're what love's supposed to be they took a streetcar to greensburg from old union town the preacher was waiting when they came around and when they were wed he said now that you're bound Here's what love's supposed to be. He said, oh, love lasts forever. Love is patient and sure. Love lasts forever. True love will endure. Now, Young men and women, please take it to heart. 
In this age where new loves keep falling apart, a 60-year love is still state of the art about what love's supposed to be. And it's just the beginning of their history. For when God brings his wonderful kingdom to be, they'll work side by side for all eternity. It's what love's supposed to be. Oh, love lasts forever. Love is faithful and sure. Love lasts forever. True love will endure. Oh, true. Um, I know from meeting many of the people in the room that many of you remember the 1990s in our church. And what a strange time it was. It actually happened, if you're not familiar with it, and, you know, I don't want to dwell on it, but there was a time when the leadership of our church, you know, the things that, that we consider part of, we don't consider, we know are part of God's way, uh, keeping his laws, keeping his Sabbath, observing his feasts, all the Ten Commandments, all kinds of wonderful things, they decided just weren't part of the deal anymore. And uh, it was difficult times. I mean, you, you, found, you found people who would stand up for God's way, and those, those were your friends. And, uh, but, you know, it was hard to know who to talk to in those days and, and um, hard to know who you could trust and where things were going. And it, it turns out that they, they actually stole the church. They took it away. They, um, they took everything we owned, and um, they changed the beliefs. But here you all are. I mean, you're the, the faithful ones. You lived through it, and you kept living God's way. Well, in those days, remember Trinity and uh, different personages of God and things? I can't remember all the names, but there were a lot of sly things slipping through. And, um, you know, you had to be careful who you talked to, but the cool part is in special music, you can get away with almost anything because people don't listen. They, um, <laughs> they go to the bathroom, they talk, they go to the coffee table, uh, even the minister's going over his notes. He's very worried about the sermon coming up. So you can get away with all kinds of things in special music. So this was my contribution to those times. I sang this song, and, a, and a <laughs> I'm walking back to, to my seat, and I heard Mark Scapira say to Lisa, he's mad. Uh, <laughs> but it was, meant, it was meant also to be inspiring. And honest and truly, although it was written for those days, I think it's for all times. It's called Keep the Dream Alive. Hope I remember the words. It was a long time ago. Dust is all we are, lost among the stars, but we're dust the Father God is called to be his own all that you have known he has given you and what you have to do is do not let it go keep the dream alive hold it in your heart you must do your part as keepers of the flame Remember how you came to know what God can do. Now it's up to you to keep the dream alive. Once there was a boy, he roamed the world so free. His heart was full of dreams. His life was full of song. Tell me, where is that boy gone? 
Maybe not so far away, maybe this will be the day he will come back home and keep the dream alive. Hold it in your heart, you must do your part as keepers of the flame. Remember how you came to know what God can do. Now it's up to you to keep the dream alive. I will tell you what I see. I see a world grown cold. I see a dream grown old, but it can never die. What has changed is you and I. We can change again. Keep the dream alive. Hold it in your heart, shining with the light, till the right will come again. And keep the dream alive, hold it in your heart. You must do your part as keepers of the flame. Remember how you came to know what God can do. Now it's up to you to keep the dream alive, keep the dream alive. Hold it in your heart, you must do your part as keepers of the flame. Remember how you came to know what God can do. Now it's up to you to keep the dream alive. Now it's up to you to keep the dream alive, keep the dream alive. Now it's up to you. Now it's up to you. It was 49 degrees Fahrenheit when we started, and it's probably a little colder, and I don't know how you're doing, but I'm getting a little chilly. So this will be the last song, and um, it's a song that I wrote for our daughter when she was a little girl, and so it's called For Emily, and I can't remember the last time I sang it. I have seen the sky like a fire die as the sun faded slowly away and the silver light of a starry night at the end of a beautiful day. Life is so full of such wondrous things, but nothing is in the skies like the light that I see when I look in your wonderful eyes. I have felt the shine of a pleasant wine I have sat in the firelight's glow and I've often run near the golden sun as it shone on the green earth below life is so full of such wondrous things but nothing could ever be like the warmth that I feel when you smile at your mother and me. We will give you all that we can. We will show you all that is true. We will teach you to stand on your own. 
And then we'll let go of you Swift the years will go We will watch you grow to a woman So fair and so free My one prayer for you Is that someday too You'll be part of God's own family Life is so full of such wondrous things A child taught me something new Now I know how God feels about me Cause I love little you Thank you, Mark. <clears throat> that was really, really nice. Um, you know, sometimes I think um, there is such brilliant talent among us, and I would just encourage all of you to thank Mark for all that he's done during his feast, because a lot of work goes on behind the scenes that is not noticed. So thank you, Mark. Thank you from me. Thank you from everyone. <clears throat>